Let's make video and uh, this is making uh, three three tiered envelope pocket <clears throat> um, so I've made three and what I've been doing is making three and doing showing you how I've made it with the fourth one because I'm working on um, four, four signatures at the moment so um, obviously depending you can use envelopes if you've got them the size um, that will fit on your page um, if you've got an envelope punch board I do have one but I haven't used it um, for this I've just kind of made it as I went along um, <clears throat> because not everybody's got an envelope an envelope punch board um, so I'm going to show you the easy way to do that and my watch is annoying me now so <laughs> sorry I'm trying to fiddle with a strap um, so yeah this is, I haven't put um, decoration on each flap because the size of the, um, I don't know, I've glued it down, the size of um, the envelopes that I made, it was going to be kind of too long for the page. So I've kind of, I've really overlapped them on this one, but you don't have to. Um, and like I said, you can use envelopes, um, ready-made envelopes. So um, let me show you how I've made it. <clears throat> So I just, this was so rough and ready this, I um, I had three bundles of paper, I folded it, obviously it's moved around now, folded it at the top, uh, trimmed a bit off the edge so that obviously that would make the envelope. Uh, so then I have the three of these <clears throat> and I've just, you can, I don't know where my bone folder is. I have just been gluing here and here on each one and where's my glue there it is let's see if it is I forgot to put the lid on it last night so it could very well be all blocked up it's a new one as well I always forget to put the lids on things um, that and my ink pad I'm always forgetting I'll you know come come in the next day and the ink pad, the ink pad's got the lid off. It's sitting on, sitting right next to it. Yep, this doesn't want to come out. Typical. There we go. Uh, so just a little bit along there, and obviously you can use anything, um, like any papers, any cardstock. I'm just using tea dyed papers. So I do that to all three. Um, oops, a bit too much there. So I've got a playlist and all these Let's Makes will be on that playlist. There's a few on there already um, for you to watch. They are all quick and easy um, to like, process, tutorials, whatever you want to call them. Um, because I, I like quick and easy. I mean, there are things that, you know, once you've made them and once you've put them in a journal, you can quite easily go in afterwards and um, add some more to it if you if you wish. Uh, I don't add too much because of the bulk that it, it can create. And if you're doing a lot, of, um, a lot of pockets and things like that in your journals, you really don't want, oh, well, personally, I don't want a lot of bulk. So now I'm just gluing on the doilies, which have been cut in half. These are... Um, where's my ruler? I think these are like four inch, yeah, or four and a half, yeah, four and a half inch doilies, just folded in half and then um, cut through the middle. <clears throat> I'm just doing it like kind of upside down at the moment because it's easier to to make sure the doily doesn't come over the edge because obviously you want to be able to lift it. And I've got glue everywhere. can decorate each one if you like so there's my dog's barking that's my son coming I and mean, his girlfriend went swimming um, so that's all three of them now I'm going to layer them all so I'm just going to take some glue up the side about an inch I think that is an inch or maybe a tad more and Obviously, I'm doing this sideways because I want to make sure that it's all in line. And then just turn it around and make sure that it is. 
like I said, that is actually overlapping. But I have done them where they don't overlap and they just kind of like that. Like for instance, that would sit like that. But because of the, the size of my page, I have to do it like that. So I'll have a little bit there. And have I got my glue gun on? Yes, I have. I kept forgetting to do that in my last videos. So. And then just making sure it's all lined up. Is that line? That's, that's this kind of, oh, it's a little bit too, too long, this one. So I'll have to bring that up a little bit more. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it's still a little, so that you can see this one is just a little bit more longer, I should say. So let me just see my page, see if it will fit on. It will, so that's fine. So I'm okay with that one being a little bit longer. Um, it's because I'm having to work around the tripod. It can make life really difficult. So on the bottom one, I have these pieces from the kit that I'm working with and it's a botanical kit from uh, Victoria Designs. I keep going to say Nectar's Creations. So I'm just putting it around the glue around the three sides and putting that on there just to create another little pocket in here. Um, <clears throat> Something that I haven't done, which I will do off camera, is ink everything up. Um, I would have done that before. So again, I'm using scraps. I've run out of tickets, so I've just kind of made my own. That was just really easy. Using a piece of cardstock, just measuring it to the width that you want and roughly the size of a ticket. And then the corners here, just using a hole punch. Just go in and just notch out the, the, the little bits here for the tickets. So a <clears throat> little bit of glue on here. that on some bit a little bit of music paper but that needs to come over a little bit more oh well it is what it is now the ticket bit of glue on there I mean you could if you've got a, um, a stamp a ticket stamp you could stamp that out I do have some uh, I do have a few actually somewhere but I'm not quite sure where they are you could actually just um, stamp them and then just cut them out. So a butterfly is there from Artie Mays. They are with one of her freebies, which is butterfly tags, and you get um, you get quite a few butterflies on there as well. So I'll just trim that off and hot glue, little dab in the middle and then just put your butterfly on there or whatever you like, it doesn't have to be a butterfly but I like using butterflies so there we go, that's them like you say, I, like you see that one is a little bit bigger um, but it will still fit on my page so that's all four that I've made um, I'm going to make some tags next so um, I will be back to show you just easy peasy simple tags um, to use in your journals. Um, if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching. Bye!